I am not an expert in terms of the hormonal side of stuff, but I do know there's some really cool stuff going on in that area, uh, especially after concussion. From, from is the light therapy legit? If you asked me 10 years ago, I would have said not a chance. Um, how, oh, and, and part of that comes in terms of how it's pitched. But understanding now, I mean, we have cells in our eyes that synapse at our hypothalamus and, and it's called the accessory optic tract and, and it doesn't go anywhere into our normal, like what we see vision, but it massively, um, it, it can impact for certain individuals. And, and that's where I'd say, is light therapy legit? Yes and no, probably depends on how it's being practiced and who it's being practiced on. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, where, where there's the gray area there, amazingly helpful and, and can do so much good for people. And some people aren't as sensitive to it. Um, and then I think you also have some practitioners who probably use it when it may not be necessary. You know, it's like so many other things. Um, you know, it's like acupuncture legit, or even they used to say for physio, like it's physio legit. Um, you know, my grandpa's favorite saying was, you know, oh, it'll get better with physio in six weeks and a month and a half on its own. And, and that was how it used to be viewed. Obviously people don't think like that now, well, some might, but kind of the same thing around the light therapy. You know, it takes the, the right patient, the right candidate and, and the right way of using it. Um, and even then nothing is a panacea and gonna help everything.